first first of all let's create a assembly file so we have assembly file but the, in this way you can create assembly file with default units of inches since we need the default uh, our custom unit in millimeters so we can also create a f new file in another way file is not file new you can also set the units from here document setting units millimeters millimeters apply close so now since i have already ma made the parts like slotted crank or flywheel and some pillar blocks these are very easy to construct the main things is to assemble and the constraining them so I'm not going to explain the construction of these parts so I'm just going to explain the the main thing is the assembly so first of all place a part so let's this is our part so here you can see this is our part and and we'll place another part we'll place a wheel okay and we'll place another this is the part so for quick return mechanism these three things are required and these are easy easy to construct so first of all let's uh so this wheel has to rotate about this joint so we can use joint this is the rotational joint since okay before doing that first of all always this is the base oh what's happened okay in assembly there is always uh, one part is grounded that means it is the base part that doesn't move so first of all make this terminal as a grounded so now this will not move see this will not move right other will move so so next thing you have to do is to rotate this disk around the this hole constrain so to joint or to the rotational joint and to so this is the center so this disk has two center back center and front center we can use back center with the this now it's good you can play animation again here if you see there's a you can see that there's no gap between these two pillar block if you have some pin connected you want to introduce some gap then you can introduce some offset here say now you can see there's uh, some gap okay so you can reduce the gap here now we can see we have a gap okay now we can see this thing is rotating okay so easy next similarly we have to place another joint rotational joint here and at this pin apply 
and again you can see you can rotate this joint now you can see this link is not rotating now we have to link this since this is a cylindrical section and we always want this section to always coincide with this section this edge so we can use tangent function here so constraint so we have a tangent and we always want this is the since uh, we want outside so we want outside so this will be the good and first selection will be this body and this selection will be this apply and see This is great. Now you can use some simulations 